Good morning. This is Christina Campbell, and I am a nationally registered certified master aromatherapist, and I want to thank everyone this morning for joining me on how to enjoy and share Young Living's exquisite Everyday Oils collection. We're just going to go through the basics uh, this morning, uh, teaching you about uh, those oils that you should be using every day, and maybe, you know, weaving in a few things that come to mind um, some things that I listen to, you know, whatever just comes to mind. And I do want to mention that there is a CD out uh, now called Seed to Seal. And it's a brand new CD. It's in the Wellness Essentials audio series. This is number 17. It's Seed to Seal Authenticating True Essential Oils. And I highly recommend everyone listening to this at least one time. There was a little testimonial in here from one of the production, I believe she was a production manager, and she got involved with Young Living many years ago, and her young, I think it was a six-year-old child, was getting reoccurring illnesses, colds, coughs, sinus problems, and she started using ImmuPower, ImmuPower, on the bottom of his feet. and. A year later, they realized that he hadn't been sick for a whole year. But the kids at school called him Pepe Le Pew. And for those of you who, know, who are familiar with Immu Power, I can understand that. The smell of cumin and oregano mixed together can really be some potent stuff. But you know what I would recommend? I would recommend not putting it on the bottom of their feet when they go to school so that they get that response from their classmates but I would put it on the bottom of their feet before they go to bed at night. Or, um, you know, after they come home from school and then they can wear it until they take their bath at night or whatever. But I just had to share that. So Seed to Seal, Authenticating True Essential Oils. If you do not have this CD, it comes with your um, November auto ship your November Essential Rewards. If you do not have a copy of this CD, let me know, and I would be glad to uh, send you a copy. Okay, so let's get started here. Whoops. What are essential oils? Essential oils are the lifeblood distilled from aromatic plants, the immune system of the plant, the liquid gold obtained from the leaves, flowers, roots, stems, and plants, uh, stems of plants and barks of trees. I want to mention that our cinnamon bark grows in Madagascar. And uh, according to Seed to Seal, we send a team down there and we make sure that there are no chemicals being sprayed on those trees and that the uh, distillation process meets Gary's high standard of distillation. So you can be assured that every single batch of essential oil, whether we grow the tree or the plant ourselves, or uh, we have wholesalers or distillers out there, we monitor the distillation of that. We are not just buying bottles from brokers that we don't know where they came from or how they would, were distilled or if they were e actually the genus or, the, um, or if they were a hybrid plant or a cloned plant, we don't do any of that. We make sure that ours are uh, authenticated seed and that it's of the highest possible quality and purity. So Young Living Therapeutic Grade, true, true essential oil quality starts at the source and Young Living has developed pure organic farms in Mona, Utah, in St. Mary's, Idaho, and I've been there and seen the Melissa fields, absolutely surreal, breathtaking. Um, Simeon Le Breton in France and Guayaquil, Ecuador. Guayaquil, Ecuador is the, uh, the site of our clinic where uh, in Quito, Ecuador, actually Quito, Ecuador. Um, our clinic does uh, wonderful treatments for the, the um, treatment of cancer, many different kinds of cancer. I always recommend that if you know anyone who has a severe uh, medical problem that Western medicine is not being able to cure is not being able to, to, to change around, that you seriously consider 
looking into the Young Living Clinic at Quito, Ecuador. The name of that clinic is the Nova Vida Clinic. And I actually had a webinar on that clinic not too many weeks ago. And if you're interested in um, getting a copy of that particular webinar, just ask and you shall receive. Okay, we also have these extensive farms grow pure organic plants from seed to harvest. Distillation, the distilling of therapeutic grade essential oils. Young Living is the largest distiller of therapeutic grade essential oils in the world. A low temperature, low pressure steam distillation process releases potent healing oils from these exquisite plants. There are only five distilleries like this in the entire world and obviously they all belong to Young Living because Gary has been the one to design and uh, fabricate these beautiful distillers. They hold about two and a half tons of plant material which you see here is only the top story, the top half of this uh, cooker. There's a, a bottom half that goes onto the um, ground floor and as you can see in this picture these um, goosenecks and or tubes let's see if I can put an arrow here these tubes here they are the condensators or the condensers this is where the steam comes you know once the plant material is cooked here, the steam goes through this gooseneck into this conden uh, condenser where the oil is actually separated from the water and then it's collected downstairs in the basement. So there's that uh, gravity effect going on, bringing that oil and water down into the collector jars and it would be great if I could come up with some pictures of those collector jars. I know I have them somewhere so I'll think about that in the future. Each batch of Young Living Oil is independently tested for purity and only after they pass the criteria for therapeutic grade are they bottled for distribution. We have quite a few CDs that explain gas chromatography and mass spectrometry, the way the method that uh, is used to identify the constituents, the therapeutic constituents in our oils. And of course they're always uh, producing these tests and each batch is independently tested. So not only does Gary have his people do it, but um, he has other people do it. Another thing that, or you know, independent laboratories, another thing that I found that was interesting from the CDC to seal is that um, they have to determine at what, you know, what time is the best time to craft the, you know, to, to cut these plants. For, for example, if we're looking at lavender, which is pretty simplistic, um, what, at what is the best peak time to, to gather these plants for distillation? And that particular, um, that particular, they come up with that time based on the sugar content in the plant or the bricks, they call it the bricks. And it's funny because one of the guys that measures the bricks in the field to determine when the plant material should be harvested um, ha was uh, talking about Gary coming out to the field one day and how he had taken a fistful of the uh, lavender oil and, or lavender plant and normally you put it in this press which presses out the oil and then it's able to measure the, the bricks or the, the sugar content telling them when it's ready for harvest and um, Gary went out and grabbed, it a, grabbed a fistful of lavender and rubbed it between his fingers and smelled it and said this is 10 bricks he says I'll, I'll guarantee you this is at 10 bricks so it's not quite ready yet and he, the guy said well you know it was my job to test the bricks so I just went ahead and tested it and sure enough he was right on the money it was 10 bricks. So it's interesting the process that they go through and if you're not really familiar with the distillation process and you start distilling oils that may be green or maybe not at their optimum state, you're going to get inferior oils. Only therapeutic grade essential oils can be effective for healing the human body. 
Okay, the history of essential oils. We know that they were mankind's first medicine. Plants were given to us on the third day of creation and used in every ancient culture and every religion for healing and health. It was reintroduced into modern medicine in the 1900s by Rene Gottfasse, who was the father of aromatherapy. That's where the word was coined from Rene Gottfasse, the aromatherapy, re meaning the tr uh, using smell, the tr you know, treating with smell. There are 180, over 188 biblical references to essential oils. And actually, I was doing a study on um, therapeutic grade essential oils the other day, and somebody stated that there were over 500 references to essential oils. So I guess it all depends on the translation. But uh, we're fortunate to have our 12 oils of ancient scripture um, published in a book called, I think it's called the Maltesedex uh, Way or something like that by a Dr. Francis Miles. And he's going to be speaking here with Terry in St. Louis probably next year sometime. And I'm looking forward to see, seeing his book and seeing our new 12 Oils of Ancient Scripture published in that book. Um, I'm also, I I have to say I'm very happy to be um, invited to Nauvoo, Illinois to speak on December 17th and 18th. So um, if anybody lives near Nauvoo or would like to be a part of that, I think my speaking will start at 6 p.m. on the 17th, and then I will be speaking from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. on the 18th. Okay, so 12 ways to feel better with essential oils. We know that there's about 12,000, but these are just giving you some basic ideas. We know that there are oils to alleviate stress and anxiety. I'm just going to go through a few, but we're going to talk about uh, some specific ones of the uh, Start Living with Everyday Oils kit. But a few oils that you would use to alleviate stress would be Stress Away, would be Tranquil. These are roll-ons, fabulous, fabulous roll-ons. You can get, get these roll-ons uh, in the Christmas box this year. Um, you get a free Valor roll-on if you order the four roll-ons in the Christmas box. But alleviating stress and anxiety, we have um, <clears throat> Stress Away, Tranquil, uh, Peace and Calming. Roman Chamomile is a single oil you might think about. You might think about Lavender. You might think about, um, oh, let's see. I should have my bag handy it's I see it it's like over there um, oh spikenard I've got my 12 oils right next to me spikenard is a is a very nice oil uh, to use oh and I open I just opened this 12 oils and it smells so good <laughs> and you might think about um, ooh the new sacred frankincense that'd be a great one for alleviating stress and anxiety. Shielding your body from bacteria and viruses. Well, that goes without saying. That's thieves. All That's got thieves written all over it. But also, think about oregano. Think about inner defense. Think about, um, let's see, I'm looking at my oils here, my 12 oils. Cassia, very, very highly antibacterial, antiviral, antiseptic. Uh, same thing with myrrh. Um, I was mentioning the immu power earlier. All of these great oils for bacteria and viruses. Oh, lemongrass, very good for fungi. Um, and I wanted to mention RC this time of year. This is a great time of year for RC. And RC stands for respiratory congestion. But I'll tell you what, you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for bone spurs. You can use it for... Um, you can use it for just, you know, breathing. Pam loves to put them in these, she calls them nose rockets. I got to laugh at that. You can get these um, inhalers uh, from Abundant Health for you. And you put six drops of RC on the cotton wick that is inserted in these inhalers. They're very similar to what we used to have back in the day, the VIX inhalers. You put it up your nostril a little bit, and then you'd breathe it. You'd maybe uh, pinch off one side of your nose and breathe it up in there. Uh, RC is great for that. Peppermint's good for that. That keeps you awake. 
Um, but there's so many oils that sh shield your body from bacteria and viruses. Natu experience natural pain relief. Well, we know that's got Panaway written all over it. But there's some other ones that are really good for pain relief, too. We've got Thieves that is good for pain relief. We've got Relieve It. We have um, Roman Chamomile, good for muscle pain. We have, um, oh, what else is good for pain? Valor can be good for pain. There's a lot of different oils out there that are good for pain. Support your body's immune system. We know lemon oil. We're going to talk about that. Warding off insomnia. How about, has anyone heard of Rutavala? If you have something like clinically diagnosed insomnia, uh, Rutavala is the blend to use. But we're going to talk about some other, you know, lavender Good is good for sleep. Cedar wood. Cedarwood. If you've listened to my 12 Oils of Ancient Scripture, you know that cedarwood has the ability to produce melatonin in the brain. And melatonin helps us to sleep. So cedarwood. And of course, there's so many blends with cedarwood in, in them. Sacred Mountain is one. Sacred Mountain. Um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, oils that can help with sleep. Lavender. Peace and Calming. Valerian of itself. Let's see. Um, rejuvenate your skin. Oh, Pam and I are doing a uh, presentation even as we speak. We're trying to finish up a presentation called Healthy, I think it's called Healthy Skin, and uh, or yeah, something like that. And we're talking about different skin diseases and what you can do. I will tell you, if you want to rejuvenate your skin, the number one supplement is Sulfurzyme. I have had such great, great, great results with using Sulfurzyme in my Ningxia Red on a daily basis for my skin. I wake up and it is so smooth and soft and I'm so grateful. Uh, so rejuvenating your skin, we're going to talk about um other other oils some of the oils would be frankincense myrrh sandalwood purification lemon all of those they're all good for rejuvenating your skin Soothing digestive disorders, we know that peppermint is very good. But digize, if you're not familiar with digize, somebody was calling me the other day or e emailing me and saying, my husband is going to Haiti and uh, I don't want him to get any of those bad bugs. If he gets food poisoning or, or whatever, what can he use? Digize. Digize is such an excellent uh, blend for food poisoning, but we're going to talk about peppermint today. Um, supporting your bones and muscles. I bet everybody could raise their hand and say, I know, I know, pick me. This is the one that's called Valor. Valor is a good one, but also for bones and muscles, you might want to think about marjoram in your raindrop kit. And uh, taking your calcium for your bones and muscles. BLM, fabulous, fabulous um, supplement. So you want to think about that. How about um, wintergreen for bone pain? Copaiba for bones and muscles. All of these, very, very good. Aromaces for bones and muscles. So we have a lot of oils out there again. We're just going to be talking about a couple of them. Superior Dental and Oral Care. Well, that goes without saying. We have our entire Thieves product line. And um, I have just decided to not use anything but Thieves in my laundry and Thieves. And so I have to tell you the story about the Thieves in my laundry. Right? This is the Thieves Cleaner. I use one capful. That's all I use. And so um, I had these pajamas the other day, and I had gotten a little bit of red wine all over it. I guess what had happened was there was some red wine on the, on the bottom of the glass, and I was touching it to my pajamas, and so I thought, oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't actually notice it until the next morning when I took my pajamas off and I went, oh my goodness, I've got wine all over it. So I just uh, 
threw it in with my whites because uh, I don't use bleach at all. I'm allergic to it. And I put one cap full of the thieves in there. And remember now, I slept with that wine in there. So it sat in there. And do you know that those pajamas came out perfectly clean, no wine stains at all. And that was one cap full to an entire load of laundry. Does it get any cheaper than that? Um, I had a girlfriend determine that it's about 50 cents a cap full. So, you know, figure how much you're putting in your wash and uh, how many loads you get and see if it's any cheaper. I, don't, I think that's pretty pretty fair. Um, so that was dental and oral care. Increase your mental clarity. I have been using clarity in my car. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about peppermint in mental clarity, but I've been using the blend clarity because it has basil in it. And I'll tell you what, I was having a rough time a couple of days ago and I just, you know, somebody asked me, are you using your oils? And sometimes when you're having a rough time, you're like, oh, just shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I got my oils out and I started using them reluctantly, you know, how we are. And I started using Clarity because I had listened to a CD by Dr. Um, what is her name? Dr. Tracy. Well, anyway, she does the one on Prozac and how to get off of, um, oh, Dr. Uh, Tracy Blake. I think that's her name, or Blake Tracy. And, um, and anyway, she was talking about how to get off of antidepressants. And um, she said the three oils that she highly recommends was Clarity. And I, now I'm not on any antidepressants. I want to <laughs> let you know that right up front. But um, I thought, I'm a, I'm a little bit depressed, you know. I don't know. It's, I've just got one of those funky attitudes. So, and we all get there, trust me. So um, she was talking about Clarity, Valor. I think she talked about Joy. And Joy wasn't doing it right then for me. Um, I was using Joy, and I just wasn't get. you know, sometimes our frequency is, it needs, it's asking for something else. It's asking for something else. And um, anyway, and I've been using my Valor, but I went to the Clarity, and I'll tell you what, I think that that really helped with the turnaround. So increased mental clarity. Uh, safe alternative to household cleaners. I talked a moment about that. And potent against inflammation. There's so many anti-inflammatory oils out there. Um, of course, wintergreen is an anti-inflammatory oil. And um, Panaway has wintergreen in it. And German, uh, German chamomile is copaiba. Copaiba, highest oil in beta caryophylline. That just came to my mind. Copaiba for inflammation is phenomenal. That's why we use it in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So any of the um, itises, that's inflammation, if you want to use copaiba. Some other... Um, some other blends that are good for inflammation are Relieve It, Deep Relief Roll-On. It has Copaiba in it. It's got Idaho Balsam Fur, and we know how great Idaho Balsam Fur is for the muscles. Some, if you're having um, adrenal problems, uh, I would put Nutmeg over my um, kidney area. That's Nutmeg is also good for inflammation. I like it in... Um, I think it's in Magnify Your Purpose. Magnify Your Purpose is a great oil uh, because it has that nutmeg in it. It kind of motivates and uh, kind of lifts you up. So try Magnify Your Purpose as well. Okay, so let's move on. Oops. Um, here are three ways to enjoy essential oils. We have... I like that little arrow. It's fun. We have rubbing topically. Okay, rubbing topically on location. Here we have somebody rubbing some lemon oil or whatever on uh, her knee. Breathing through the nose and through diffusing into the air. Here we have breathing, 
with the diffuser going. This is a beautiful picture of the diffuser. This morning when I got up, um, Kenneth gets up about 5.30 and I get up about 6. And I think I hobbled out of bed about 10 after 6. And he had the diffuser going, cranked up, and I said, are you okay? You getting sick? He said, no, no. He said, um, I just want to make sure, you know that I don't. And it smelled like thieves in the house and it smelled so good. And also remember to take it uh, internally. I got my recipe from a woman who's on our call today and her name is Joan Llewellyn. And she told, she, when I was at her house, she had her little bottle of stevia and a bottle of citrus fresh on her um, sink. And anytime she'd go get a drink of water, she put a drop of um, each in a, her glass of water and that's what she would drink and so I got that idea and I started to do that myself and that's what I've been drinking so right now to my to the right of me I have a glass of water with citrus fresh and one drop of stevia in it and I love it I love it I love it I love it so thank you Joan for that recipe um, okay so the next thing we're going to talk about is lavender and all the wonderful things lavender can do. And we know what the slide says, that the University of Miami researchers found that inhalation increased beta waves in the brain, suggesting heightened relaxation. Search, research shows the reduction of mental stress with lavender, and studies show the use of aromatherapy with hospice patients decreases pain, anxiety, and depression and promotes increased what sense of well-being. Uh, lavender oil was also used for the treatment in agitated behavior in severe dementia patients. And for those of you who suffer from a immediate type allergic reactions, lavender oil inhibits that by placing one drop of lavender oil on the tip of the tongue and placing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Um, the French scientist René Gattefasse was the first to discover lavender's ability to promote tissue regeneration and speed wound healing when he severely burned his arm in, the laboratory, in a laboratory accident. Today, lavender is one of the few essential oils to still be listed, listed in the British pharmacopoeia books. It's antiseptic, it's antifungal, it's analgesic. It actually reduces blood fat cholesterol and it combats excess oiliness or sebum on the skin. So this is great for teenagers if they're having acne problems. Just taking a little dab on your finger and putting it on those uh, breakouts. You can use it from, from morning till night because of its... Um, calming and relaxing and balancing effects. Um, we know that it's good for respiratory infections, high blood pressure, arterial sclerosis, mental, uh, excuse me, menstrual problems, PMS, skin conditions. So you can rub it on the paws of your, uh, for overactive pets. And I have to mention that new pet brochure that is absolutely phenomenal showing the bottom of the paws, the dilution ratios dependent upon the animal. And I used to say, uh, oh yeah, you can rub on the, pa uh, the paws for overactive pets because you can use these oils on pets uh, except fish. That's what I used to say until I found out from that brochure. That brochure was written by Dr. Mary Hess out of um, she's out by Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, she says you can use oil hydrosols on fish to heal them. So I have to take that back. So you can use them on birds. You have to know what you're doing, though. That pamphlet is very, very um, informative in that it gives its dilution rates. It tells you what kind of oils that you can use for certain things, for eye problems, for heart problems, for arthritis, and then how to use it. So... Um, Consider getting a packet of those. I know that uh, Pam has been kind of reaching out to the pet community whenever we do um, vendor fairs because she's such a pet lover, as we all are. But, um, you know, this may be 
your niche. Maybe because people don't have any idea. And I'll tell you what, people will spend money on their pets before, uh, in some cases, before they'll spend it on themselves. So I want you to think about getting that brochure. And it's from Crown Diamond Tools, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, Pam, type it in the box or something and I'll share that with everybody. Okay, I think it's crowndiamondtools.com. That's one word, and it's the pet brochure. Okay, so you can breathe deeply to reduce stress. Use during labor to reduce material, maternal anxiety. Use this as an antiseptic anytime you cut yourself. Even, like, I got a razor burn, you know, on my legs from shaving my legs the other day, and, man, it smarts on that... Um, bone and every every time I thought about it I would put a little bit of lavender and it heals without scarring when you do that so that that's just a no-brainer you gotta have your lavender in your bathroom um, let's see insect repellent we don't have to worry too awfully much about insects now it's getting a little cooler up in our area I know Terry was telling us yesterday that it's still very warm down there but uh, you can use it as an insect repellent or treat insect bite itchiness. And, of course, it keeps it from getting infected. Um, diffuse in the classroom to calm children. More and more teachers, more and more counselors in the school system are finding out about these oils and, and diffusing in their office or in their particular classroom. Now, I think that it's not... I, I don't foresee, and, and you know, I don't want to put anything negative out there, but I think that this is showing me that this is an individual responsibility for each teacher. Don't wait and expect the, the school at some point in time to diffuse lemon oil throughout the entire school system, you know, their, um, their heating, heating and air conditioning system. I don't know, I don't see that happening in the very near future. But as we teachers and counselors and principals take it upon ourselves to um, to use these oils um, in our own in our own space, then we can heal that part of our planet. Something else that came to me uh, this morning when I was in meditation, I was thinking, you know, I've I've prayed and prayed and prayed about sharing essential oils with daycares and I have not had any real luck but they I know and, and because they don't they just don't understand and they don't let you in they don't you know so far so far not putting out anything negative there but I thought maybe if we went to the level of the children maybe if we asked the daycare workers if we could come in and give a class on germs to the children and we could talk about chemicals at a child's level we could have a poster of a big germ and we could talk about how plant oils can kill germs and about how we don't have to use drugs and we train the little ones and the reason I say this is because I believe that children are our biggest advertisers when it comes to what they hear about, hear about or see. Uh, take, for example, on the television, when they hear about a new cereal and it's got some, you know, funny square pants people associated with it or whatever. Um, they can't get it out of their mind. This is the all-encompassing. If you get them to uh, smelling the thieves on a cotton ball or peppermint on a cotton ball, you know, something that's safe. Uh, give them each a baggie with a cotton ball on it with some lemon oil on it or something. You know, I mean, this is where creativity is unbounded. And, um, you know, around the nap time, telling them that if they're having a hard time taking a nap, they might want to take out their cotton ball with lavender on it. And you could have different uh, baggies with, you know, L for lavender. And it would start teaching them to identify things, too. We're talking about little kids here. You know, we're talking about two, three, four, four, four-year-olds. I think by the time they get to be five, they're in kindergarten. But what could keep you from teaching a class on germs to a kindergarten class? 
And I think one of the reasons that this came to my mind was I was watching something and it was showing how these children, oh, you know what I was watching last night? We, Kenneth and I, believe it or not, we're like, we're childlike. We were watching Finding Nemo. <laughs> Just the two of us, two old people watching Finding Nemo. But it was funny because the little turtles in the um, Australian Current had listened to Marlin's story about how he was going to find his son, Nemo. And once those kids heard it, everybody knew about it, from the adult turtles to the adult pelicans. And I thought, that's the key telling the children. So I think that this is something that you may be able to use, you know, just think about it. Think about it. I had to, I had to share that. Okay, massage on sore muscles. Apply it to uh, legs to prevent restless leg syndrome. Massage on temples for head discomfort. Spritz on your pillow for a good night's sleep. Lemon oil. We know that over 50 studies reveal that delaminine in lemon oil protects the cells of the body from cancer. We also know that it's very effective in cleansing the liver. So if we think about these children in these daycares that have been on all this amoxicillin and antibiotics because of chronic reoccurring ear infections, they need lemon oil. They need lemon oil. And citrus oils are being studied for their effects on alleviating depression. You know, a lot of these kids come into daycares and they've had a lot of trauma at home. So, you know, we could, we could be helpful. We could be helpful because I believe if we teach them, the teachers will listen. I believe that. Enjoying lemon, day, lemon every day. Add two to three drops to each glass of water. Enjoying your favorite recipes. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. We've got... Uh, Pumpkin pies coming up. We've got cranberry sauce. I don't know if you make your own. Try putting orange oil in it. Oh, take a, crack out the old Young Living cookbooks. They have um, stuffing with with wolf, ninja wolf berries in it. Thanksgiving stuffing with ninja wolf berries. How about that one? Oh yeah, sounds good to me. Um, Powerful stain remover, we know that it's great for taking off things like sticky labels off of jars, that kind of thing. Uh, diffuse to uplift emotions, any of the citrus oils are fabulous, absolutely. And I've been um, diffusing Christmas spirit, even though it's not Christmas yet. I can't wait. I'm going to probably go through a lot of Christmas spirit this year because it has... Um, the citrus oil of orange in it. And orange is elevating to the mind and body, bringing security, joy, and peace. And then Christmas spirit has cinnamon bark in it. Remember I was telling you that this is highly antifungal, antiviral, anti-infectious, antibacterial. Bacterial. And the plain um, cinnamon oil can bring back memories of home-cooked food. You might want to use cinnamon oil in heated apple cider oh yeah another thing I like in my heated apple cider is thieves yeah and you can put lemon or you can put orange in your heated apple cider and I just went through a gallon because I love it I love it I love it and then something else that's in Christmas spirit is spruce and spruce we know helps the respiratory and nervous system it's an antiseptic and it's highly anti-inflammatory. Its aromatic influence helps to open and release emotional blocks. And some of our um, Christmas catalog specials, you know, the, one, the little mini collections, they have oils in them that you cannot get unless you order a kit, like cassia. Cassia is very sim similar to cinnamon. But they have a three-oil uh, little mini collection with cassia in it, and you don't have to buy the whole 12 oils of ancient scripture if you don't want to. But I think everybody should have one because Christmas is coming up, and you know I have a theory about using one oil every day before Christmas. The 12 days before Christmas, you choose one oil, and you can do them in alphabetical order, or you can, starting with alos and ending with spikenard, or you can just 
intuitively pick one every day for 12 days and you're going to use it throughout the entire day everything from rubbing it on the bottom of your feet to breathing it through your nose maybe you want to diffuse it in your house maybe you want to put some on your tongue maybe you want to add that to your water some of that can be a little scary especially like with um, galbanum in my water I'm gonna try it but uh, people say that they have said well and I and I said last year our experiences during that 12 days of Christmas are phenomenal Okay, moving right along, we're getting a lot more information uh, than the, just the regular 12 oils, I mean 9 oils this, this day, but I think, you know what, I just felt like going a little further, teaching you a little bit more. Let's talk about peppermint oil, and maybe we can talk about some of the oil blends that peppermint oil is in because look at the research that's been done at Keele University. Um, they found that peppermint oil blocked headache, pain, and double-blind placebo crossover studies. And they found that um, they found William N. Denver found that at the University of Cincinnati that inhaling peppermint oil increases mental accuracy by 28%. It's purifying and stimulating to the conscious mind. That's what William N. Denver says. Also, um, we know that studies prove the antimicrobial and antioxidant activities of peppermint oil. And studies show that peppermint oil curbs appetites when inhaled. So you can add to herbal tea to aid in digestion. You can use it before and during workouts to invigorate your muscles and reduce fatigue. You can place two drops on the tongue to improve alertness and focus. I'll tell you, this is great for feet. Mix it in the foot bath to relieve sore feet. I have a new client from Wisconsin who was complaining to me of sore, like bruises um, deep in their, in their, um, heels of their feet and she said what would you recommend and the first thing that came to my mind was peppermint oil so of course she got this start uh, I think she started with the Ningxia Red kit but she uh, received her free uh, bonus bottle of peppermint and bonus bottle of lavender and she started putting that peppermint on the bottom of her foot and she got immediate relief and she had been experiencing this bruising for quite some time and knew that it hadn't been associated with her shoes so I thought that was important. Some of the oils that peppermint are found in, some of the oil blends and some of the um, products that we have in Young Living that have peppermint in them, aromaces, very good for the muscles. Um, our Aroma Guard Mountain Mint deodorant has peppermint in it. That's my husband's and my favorite. That's our favorite deodorant. It just gives you that wake up in the morning. It's a lymphatic detoxifier. It's great. Peppermint is also in the BLM uh, powder, the BLM. I mentioned that for bones, ligaments, and muscles because, and it's very, very good for um, increasing the collagen and um, the cartilage, that's what I was trying to think of, the cartilage between the bones. It can do that. It's in our cinnamon lip balm. It's in clarity. It's in comfort tone. It's in um, our toothpaste. It's in digize. I talked about digize for digestion. It's in our digestion cleanse, soft gels. It's in our essential zyme, enzyme. Oh, I'm listening, I was listening to a great CD on enzymes. If you want a CD on enzymes and you don't have it, let me know. I've got all, you, you have to listen to these CDs. They're so informative. And if, you, if this is something that you're doing as a business, then you want to be listening to something and learning something every single day. It may only be just, you know, a few minutes of listening and learning, but every day. Um, it's in... It's in um, mineral essence. It's in M grain, which is a blend. In the blend Mister, it's in um, 
our orthosport massage oil. It's in Panaway. It's in our peppermint cedarwood bar soap. It's in our polyzyme enzyme, in our progen, RC, Raven, in our relaxation massage oil, in relieve it. It's in our satin facial scrub. Oh, I love that that face scrub. In fact, I was thinking about that, Pam. We probably need to add that satin facial mint scrub to our skin presentation because that is so, oh, so phenomenal. It's in our Thieves lozenges and it's in our Thyromin and it's in Transformation and it's also in the Hand Purifier. So peppermint is in a lot of stuff. The next oil we're going to talk about is frankincense oil. And I'd like to just mention about the sacred frankincense because I have it right here in front of me and it is such a fabulous oil. Um, there are two different types of frankincense that we have that you know Young Living provides. One of them is Boswella Katari, that's the one that you're seeing pictured here. And the other one is Sakra. As well as Sacra, which is the sacred frankincense. And as far as we know, we are the only people um, distilling this right now. And it is for, it passes a blood brain barrier, it's high in sesquiterpenes. And I'm breathing it right now. And it's, if you have yours, breathe it while you listen to this. And I like to just pour it on the top of my head. Um, it just seems to heal the I actually feel like a different shift in my energy when I use the sacred frankincense. It's one of the holy anointing oils in the ancient scriptures. Breathe it deeply for emotional support. I recently had a new member come in and she did a wellness assessment with me. She came into my home and her son has asthma. And he has been on antibiotics most of his little life. He's only six. And the asthma medication causes him anxiety, so now they have him on an anti-anxiety medication as well. So you know that my goal is to help her get him off of his medications. But in the meantime, we're working on his asthma with frankincense. Frankincense. Rub it on the chest and over lungs for respiratory support. It's a beautiful skin beautifier. You're going to find it in most all of our skin creams, um, our skin creams are now fortified with shea butter, which is very healing. Shea butter has been recognized for, the, you know, to heal things like arthritis. Shea butter is really, I buy my shea butter from the African markets. And then what I can do is I can add my frankincense or my sandalwood to it. I added sandalwood to it the other day and just put it all over my skin. Loving it, loving it. But you, co of course, you can buy our sandalwood cream or our Boswella cream. Rub it on the feet for immune system support. And oh yeah, by the way, as, speaking of our creams, we have um, in the Christmas catalog, we have the sandalwood cream, and it comes with a with a body applicator. How cool is that? Um, diffuse it for all over body support. Yeah, frankincense is awesome. And if you're interested in uh, learning more about frankincense, I have a CD on frankincense. You can actually you can ask me about that. Um, the thieves, everybody should know about thieves. I did uh, a thieves webinar last week. I think we hadn't done one in a very long time, and Pam had re recommended that we do the nine oils today because we hadn't done it in a very very long time. But hopefully, we're going to have that skin one ready for you next week. That's my goal. Um, it contains cinnamon, clove, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus radiata. And if you remember from last week, clove. Clove. I did some research on clove recently. In fact, I just updated my slide presentation because I used to say that it is the highest antioxidant oil on the planet. And I used to say that it had an ORAC rating of far over 144,000. Well, I just changed those numbers because the last numbers I found, and I must be a numbers person because I remember this stuff.
was 1,073,000 in the ORAC rating. 1,073,000. That's 1, 0,073,000. Isn't that amazing? That's the ORAC rating on clove. There's no food anywhere that's got that high of an ORAC rating. Nowhere. Studies on thieves, of course, Weber State University finding in 1997 that uh, Thieves had a <clears throat> had a kill rate of 99.96 percent on airborne bacteria. Bacteria in general, thieves can significantly reduce the number of airborne bacteria that can negatively affect you. It also kills back bad bacteria in the body. So, in the body, we have bacterias that cause disease. We have low grade infections that uh, many times just stay with us for many, many years. So I'm recommending uh, taking a capsule of thieves a day or the inner defense. Inner defense is actually better than just the thieves because it's bumped up with a little bit of extra time. And um, I think it has frankincense in it. I'm going to look it up real quick here. I know that it ha it's got some Let's see. Inner Defense. It has, it's an enhanced thieves blend with extra thyme and extra oregano. That's what it is. Extra oregano. And we know that the oregano is rich in carvacrol and is one of the most powerful purifying and antiseptic essential oils known to science. It's high in DNA repair activity, and oregano provides antioxidant protection as it cleans the body of pathogens. So here we are. Very, very effective against bacteria in the body. And back in the day, before we had inner defense, all of us oilers would make our own bug buster. That's what we called it. And basically what the bug buster was, was 10 drops of thieves in a capsule. This is a double lot capsule. You can get these veggie caps from Young Living. 250 of the capsules for $7.50. 250 will last you a very, very long time. But anyway, so you take 10 drops of thieves in there. You put 8 drops of oregano and two drops of frankincense. And we would take that up to three times a day. If we thought we were going to come down with something or we had already gotten some, you know, nasal things going on or upset stomach or whatever. And I'll tell you what, it knocked it out. And, and to bump it up again, I would put emu power on my feet before I went to bed. And if I was not better in the morning, something was wrong. And 99.9% .9 of the time, I was better in the morning. I can't remember the last time I've really been sick. I catch it before I get, you know, before it gets a foothold. I, if I have an inkling, an, an idea at all that I may be getting, um, getting a little fuzzy, not feeling good, I will start taking my oils internally. Okay, had to have a drink of water there with my citrus fresh and stevia. So thieves, don't leave at home without it. Diffuse daily to kill airborne bacteria. Rub it on the bottom of your feet for daily immune, immune support. You can put this in your water. You can drink it or you can gargle it for throat discomfort. You can add it to dishwasher to the dishwasher for cleaner dishes. And you can add it to the mop water for cleaner uh, floors. Purification, let's talk about that real quick. Purification, citronella, rosemary, lemongrass, lavender, melaleuca, alternifolia, and myrtle. Now, I've heard many people taking, um, you know, like a Q-tip swab and swabbing the inside of their sinuses with purification or RC, either one of those. This is very, very healing for that. You can put a take a toothpick and put it down in one of these bottles, RC or purification. Um, peppermint, any of these oils that are good for sinusitis and respiration. And uh, mix it in, take that, take that toothpick, put it down in your bottle so it's 
getting a little bit of oil soaked on it, and then stir the salt water in your neti pot or your, your saline solution for doing nasal irrigation. That's all you need, folks. You don't need a whole drop. That would be just entirely too much. But just swoosh it around in there, and that will really help clear it out. Great. Enjoying purification. Powerful summer antibacterial blend. Diffuse it in the air of your home to kill germs that cause disagreeable odor. But if you're dealing with mold, I, I go to thieves. If you've just got some mildew, I might use pur purification, but I like thieves best. Use on insect bites to cleanse and neutralize poison. Apply on blemishes to, blemishes to clear skin. Use in a spray bottle with water to repel insects. I have to tell you a story. Um, just recently, I guess day before yesterday, I signed up a new wholesale buyer. She had been on a trip, and on that trip, there were three of them. Her and one of her girlfriends had the regular insect spray you know, the chemical insect spray, and another girl had a bottle of purification. So they all put their insect spray on, including the lady with her purification. She put her purification on, just a few drops and rubbed it around her body. And the other two girls got bit up, and the, other, the one with purification did not. And the girls that didn't have the purification mentioned, oh, that smell, I love it. What is that? And the girl mentioned that it was purification. Well, this is how important it is to get people to sign up with their own member number because this girl uh, who was using the chemicals said, well, I want to get some. How do I go about getting it? And they looked on the bottle and they saw the Young Living logo. And so she called, or, yeah, she called, no, she went online and she went to youngliving.com and she realized that she couldn't order without a member number. She couldn't order without a member number. So she asked her girlfriend that had the purification, do you have a member number? And she says, no, I don't think so. So obviously nobody had signed her up. She was just getting it from someplace. And um, so she had to call the company. And because she was from the state of Illinois, the company gives you people who call in if you're a silver in that company, in that, in that state. And so that's how I get additional people. They just place them under me. And she came in as a customer with uh, an order for purification. And, of course, I contacted her and welcomed her to Young Living. And she said, well, I was just wondering, you know, when I would get it. She said, I ordered it about two weeks ago. And I said, whoa, let's check on your tracking. Well, it had been delivered on the 26th of October, and, it, and she had been gone on her vacation until the 31st. And so what had happened was that um, it had been taken from her doorstep, unfortunately. Unmuted. Was my connect was my connection lost? Can you hear me now? Can anybody hear me now? Can anybody hear me now? There seemed to be a loss of connection. Okay, yes, M Maria can hear me. Okay, great. Sorry, I don't know at what point um, I fell off. But anyway, to make a long story short, we got a new distributor because of purification. And I'm almost done here, folks. So, um, Panaway. Panaway is in our nine oils. Panaway has peppermint in it, wintergreen, heliochrysum, and clove, that highly antioxidant oil. We know that peppermint reduces, or Panaway reduces pain and inflammation. It increases circulation, accelerates healing, relieves swelling and discomfort from symptoms of arthritis, sprains, muscle spasms, cramps, and bruises. And families who use Panaway keep children healthy and ha happy. And so if you've got children with owies and you're talking about... Um, the oils in a daycare, you can place a drop of Panaway on their knee or on their elbow. You just make sure they keep it out of their eyes. And this is no different than if you were to put lotion on them. So I don't think that there's anything against using lotion in a daycare. They use chemicals. They use Germex and all that kind of thing. I should, 
shouldn't think that they would have an issue with that. Peace and Calming, of course, was created by Lee Gary Young to calm hyperactive children. It was studied for irregular heartbeat. Diffused, it would be great to be diffused in dental offices to calm patients. Massage down the spine and on the feet for a good night's rest. It's a blend of tangerine, orange, ylang-ylang, patchouli, and blue tansy. Peace and Calming is a wonderful way of life. Massage for relieving tension and anxiety. And our last oil is Valor. Supports the muscular skeletal system of the body. Is widely used by chiropractors before and after treatment to enhance client results. It's grounding, balancing, and empowering when inhaled. And it, it, it contains spruce, which is really good for the respiratory uh, tract and system. It's got rosewood, blue tansy, and frankincense in a base of almond oil. Use, using Valor to promote courage. The, Valor Blend was used by Roman soldiers before battle. It helps to prevent, promote courage during the time of trial. Breathe deeply for five minutes. Nine everyday oils to support our nine systems of the body. If you don't have this presentation and you'd like a copy of it, all you have to do is ask, and I'd be glad to send it to you. I will also send you a copy of this particular recorded uh, webinar if that's something that you would like to have on hand. So here's our Start Living with Everyday Oils collection. Receive nine exquisite oils to use all day long plus a bonus bottle of lavender and peppermint. You get a $40 off coupon on any Young Living diffuser. Now this has changed from what it used to be. You're getting $40 off any Young Living diffuser. 24% discount on all future Young Living products. You get a lifetime wholesale membership with no annual fees. The only thing that's required is a $50 product order to a year to maintain your membership. Uh, this collection is a $225 value for just $150. Welcome to the world of Young Living. And I want to thank all of you for being on today and hearing me live. Um, I still see... A few people on. If you have anything that you'd like to say, now's the time. I'm going to start stop the